Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Robert Silk. I live at uh, 79675 Rancho Santa Margarita in La Quinta, California. Thank you. Could you tell us, other than your professional activities, in what ways have you been involved in the community? Oh, my goodness. Uh, when I read my community accomplishments page on my website, robertsilk.com, I have to get that in. Um, it's, uh, I can't believe I've done all that, all those things. But as far as La Quinta is concerned, I was on the board of the Chamber of Commerce for six years, served as uh, executive board secretary. I was a city commissioner. Um, I was on the Community Services Commission. Um, originated the uh, uh, hiking tours, the uh, art and public places tours, so we could see what we needed and uh, ran for city council, ran for mayor, as probably you all know, I'm a perennial candidate. And um, I'm still involved as chairman of the Concerned Citizens of La Quinta, and our organization has been very successful. We led the effort to get rid of the California biomass plant, which was 40 acres, out by Trilogy. And sorry to say, the city didn't come on board until about two months later, after the Desert Sun uh, had five front page stories and two TV stations were involved. But we did win them over to use their cloud against the county to have that plant closed entirely and moved. Plus, we were the ones that led the effort to transparency to film all council meetings. So our organization is very proud of what we're doing, and we're still in action. We started with about 25 members, and we now have, believe it or not, 3,107 that we email to twice a month. And uh, I'm looking forward to our upcoming meetings with uh, Republican Knight, Brian Nastande and Bonnie Garcia, and in the middle of October, Raul Ruiz and Manny Perez. So thank you very much. Okay, the second question. Um, what is your vision for how La Quinta will look 10 years from now? Okay, I like my answer to that. I think I have it here. Uh, because my um, answer for La Quinta in 10 years from now is the same answer as it is now. And I feel that we have to bring in the private sector to eliminate our debt. I've talked about this four years ago. I've talked about it two years ago. And the only way to do that is to develop Silver Rock Resort. We cannot do it. The city is not doing it. It seems like every time we have an election, it revs itself up again, as it is now. Meriwether was chosen from five developers, but they're not developers, they're designers, and very good designers, but they're broke, and the city's broke. So how are we gonna get this developed? So we have to bring in the private sector. But the city doesn't do that. So in March, because one of the things that I do is finance international projects, and I spoke to my people, and they spent two months looking over Silver Rock, and they decided to put up $450 million to develop Silver Rock. They wrote a letter confirming that. They placed the money on the side. I have their confirmation letter here, if you'd like to look at it. And the only one that stepped up in city council was Linda Evans, and we had a three-hour meeting with Frank and his staff, and nothing happened. I'm very disappointed about that. We had a subsequent meeting with our developers, and the city never picked up on it. And after two months of waiting, we pulled our offer, and now Indio heard about it, and they want to know if the money is still there because they have 500 acres that want to be developed. There's more to that story, of course. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.